How's you game everybody? This is Captain SX Wedding and today back again with me with another tutorial on Java programming. Well for today's video I have for you guys um quite quite a video actually. It's I mean for today's video we'll talk about on how to create a clock in Java. Okay, so this clock in Java will create a digital clock it's not like it's an analog clock which is round and it has its needles to show the time but it is a digital clock which will create in an instant it's really easy so first we'll create our Java project of course new Java project and we'll name the project to be clock app next and then click finish okay so now let's create the class for this project and let's name it class no let's name let's name this class to be clock app clock app by convention yeah Clock up. Okay. And then done. Okay. Now inside this class, we'll create everything that we need to do to display our digital clock. So first, we need to extend an applet. And implement runnable. Runnable, so the clock will run automatically. Uh, import applet, and then adding implemented methods. Okay. Okay. So now inside this, first we we'll create a thread. Thread. T and then thread T1. And after that, we'll create a method called start. So we'll start the thread object, which is uh, the, the target runnable. The, the runnable target is this clock app class. Okay, it's public for it. Start. Then inside this, we'll start the thread just like this t equals new thread the parameters is this oh no no, no. new thread like that t equals new thread and the runnable target and the parameters as we can read in here the parameter is the target or the object whose run method is invoked in this in thread instead you start in notice class run method so does nothing okay Okay, so now we'll create the thread, just like this. Uh, t equals new thread, and the target is this class. And for that, we'll start the thread whenever we run the application or program. Start. Right. And then after that. We need to do, do something with this implemented methods, which is the run methods from the runnable class. So we need to create another thread, which will, which we already have is t1 plus thread dot current thread. Now, what this current thread means is basically when we create this T1, uh, the thread that we'll, that we'll create is referencing to the current thread that is already executed by the application, which is this thread. So it will be the same as this thread, and this thread will be running at the same time. Okay. Then, while t1 equals t the paint ok 
Okay, while t1 is c equals to while t1 equals to t, we will paint the applet. Okay, that's that's a simple logic. And then, okay, so once we have set that, we'll do this try, and then try t1 dot sleep. to be 1000 and then after we have tried uh, to s break the, or sleep the t1 thread now we'll catch the interrupted exception so whenever an exception happens this method will catch it okay and uh, no uh, uh there we go <laughs> i mistyped it interrupted exception ah there we go and after we have finally created that now we can just run the applet and see if it runs there we go the applet runs and but it hasn't have but it doesn't have anything inside it yet so now we'll create the digital clock inside this applet okay so the next step is to paint the clock inside that applet so first we'll create a method the paint method paint graphics g okay now we'll import graphics We go now we'll create the calendar based on the Gregorian calendar which is a calendar that is a class a calendar class which is created inside Java this inside this library so calendar calicos new Gregorian calendar a lot of mistype there Gregorian calendar Okay, so now we'll import the Gregorian calendar. And then we'll import calendar. Now, the calendar class, as we can read in here, the calendar class is an abstract class that provides methods for converting between a specific, specific instant in time instead of a calendar field such as year, month, day, of month, hour, and so on. But for this video, we'll create a digital clock. So we only need the fields such as hour minutes and then seconds based on our default time zone right so now we'll create a string for hour and then we'll set the value from the from the calendar string dot value of calendar dot get and then the field will be the calendar field will be our first calendar uh, hour here we go semicolon and then we'll do two more that will just copy paste and then the second will be the minute string and then the value of it will be from the calendar fields of minutes it. and then this will be second which the value of from we'll get it from the calendar field of calendar dot of course second now now we'll do some coloring on for the paint methods and so we'll paint to the applets so g dot set color color dot black and then this will uh, this color method this color method will paint this string so when we 
paint it into the applet this string will be in a black color right so now we'll create the g draw string so uh, when we create this string we will set the color to be black and i will set the background color to be green so we can see the color of our string set the background you can set your background color to whatever you want and just like fill in with your creativity set background color dot green done now we are pretty we're basically, we're basically done here like so when we when we run the app it will uh, of course show us a, di a digital clock ah there we go since now my time is 1.53 p.m. or uh, 14, 14 in the afternoon in the afternoon so if this digital clock will paint see you see this the, the digital clock is repainting so it's why it that is why it's like blinking like that it is repainting every time and every second um every second every second we're talking right now it is repainting to its applet and this clock is actually um the gregorian calendar is basically taking and the calendar is basically taking our 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 default our uh, is taking the value from our default time zone. So if your default time zone now is at maybe seven p.m. in the night, the digital digital clock will show you the time zone that you are in. And that's just basically it. From this update, we can we can stop it. We can stop. <laughs> we can stop the clock, and then we we'll, we can start the clock again, and then. We can res can restart the applet after we start it and much more things like that. But for today's video for creating digital digital clock in Java, I guess that's it for today's video. If you have any question, comment down below and also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Craft and Six Coding. And see you guys on the next video. And until then. Happy coding.